Greetings and salutations. I'm Dr. Tori Jo Hanks, and I felt the need to come on here and talk a little bit. So, I have been studying Reiki, energy healing, self healing, self empowerment since oh, 20 years ago, right? About 20 years old. Um, and I have been blessed with parents that raised me in an open, inquisitive environment. Um, so I have been, as I work with Reiki and as I've worked with different metaphysical spiritual healing tools, it has been slowly opening me up to different things, different aspects of my character, different aspects of my innate abilities. And for the first time, since I've started, I went to a fair, well, market, yeah, uh, Utah Pagan Market, uh, upstairs in this really neat little cafe, um, really great environment. Um, of course, in most societies and most people, I can see real quick, right, the fakeness or the, well, you know, like, I don't, know. I don't know the meaning behind it, but it's pretty and it sells. Um, now, what I wanted to talk to you about was my experience. Okay. It was from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. I showed up a little bit before nine so I could have time to set up. And as I'm setting up and I'm I'm setting my energy and I'm getting it ready to be able to interact with people i started scaring myself well okay no i can't say that i i, I was not scary well okay i was yeah no i was see how the subconscious work there um i i started scaring myself by the things that were happening things that i was seeing things that i was feeling things that weren't me Right, because you know you, and you get into a different, and it's like, whoa, I've never said that before in my life. Um, and it it did it it set me off guard. And I know there are others out there that are beginning to practice and beginning to actually interact with the energies of other people more frequently. And I guess this video is intended to let you know that you're not alone. I have been doing this for friends and family and being confident in my knowledge for over 20 years. And I am just now realizing, oh crap. Okay, so that's what this is about. Okay, so I went to this fair to give readings. I brought my tarot, I brought my ancestor deck, I brought crystals, I brought my pendulums, I brought all my tools, okay? and. I had one beautiful soul bless me with her presence and asked me to help her. And I, w I was, I was uh, tongue tied. I didn't know where to begin, even though I've done it before. And, and I asked her, well, what's one thing you know, I want to work on? And she was like, stress. And so my first thought was have a seat. Now I have, I, I, our subconscious will direct us towards what we need. Okay. So under, I had two chairs sitting on the other side of the table. One chair had a carving of selenite that is in a spiral so that it moves energy. Okay. And then under the other seat, I had a huge chunk of black obsidian to ground to remove negative energies right oh she went to go sit into the bl black obsidian chair at first did not put put full butt down and moved onto the selenite sat down and so i sat in the black obsidian and i allowed that obsidian to do what was needed to remove any of those negative energies that she might have and before i knew it things were coming out of my mouth just from visualizing or feeling something or, and, and I would act it out and her face and 
there there was beautiful moments of realization and yet i know i scared her i hope that she will recall recollect what was said but i got scared and i allowed the anxiety and panic to start kicking in because as i was sitting there waiting for other people to show up which they didn't i was witnessing different vendors at the market going through issues i was feeling their pain hearing their thoughts and and it, it became so overwhelming that i decided a half an hour before the market was over to start backing up to go as i was doing this all i was all i wanted was for it to, to stop because the more overwhelmed I got, the louder it got. And on a pan, thinking about it after a couple of days, going, wow, okay, what, what happened? Why? I feel now that I should have said something to these people. I, I should have interacted with them in such a way that I might have been able to help them. And yet I let the fear push me back and I went into flight mode. I was in those moments of packing up. I was, I'm done. I'm never doing this again. Too much. I can't do it. I was holding on to all the negativity of the day that I was experiencing, realizing that I was sent there to help them. That's why it popped up. That's why it appeared out of nowhere. And it's like so close to my house, and, you know? Um, and so I decided I'm going to go back next month. If there's opening. I know there's lots of people trying to get seen and heard, but it's, I, I'm, I have decided that this next round, I am not going to look for getting clients. I'm going to look for ways and means that I can use my gifts to aid and help my community. Because a lot of these people are amazing. What they do is like, wow. You know, I, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm in awe. And yet there's static. There's pain. There's self-doubt. There's self-imposed curses from generations back yeah i felt that one <laughs> that was a weird one it was like a tunnel and being oh it was wild but there's different experiences you know like like witnessing someone's face and their whole head about here just becomes static i couldn't see the face everyone else was fine and so i've got a I, I've got a month and I'm going to do some research on what exactly these things mean because I'm just learning. I remember 20 years I've been doing this and I'm still learning. Yes, it's overwhelming. Especially, okay, so me, 2004. It's 2022 as of recording this, right? In 2004, I was diagnosed with manic depression which in code word is bipolar uh ptsd social anxiety disorder with agoraphobic tendencies there was numerous labels that were put on me and because of those labels and because of the required medication i started really diving into holistic naturopath energy plant medicine and anytime I went to learn something to heal myself, I would go towards certification so that I really knew. I was told once that if you can explain and teach something to a four-year-old, you understand it yourself. And so my brain automatically said, okay, so if you can teach it, you know it. Right? And so I started learning different ways 
that I resonated with how to heal myself. To the point that 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, right? I lasted five and a half hours in a very, very busy, energetic event. And I was sitting there calm. Numerous people actually about, wow, you look so in, in your in your energy and in your space. Inside, I was just like high wired, shaking. Oh my gosh, because of all the things that were coming at me. And I have not put myself in that position to take those things for a long time, years, years. To the point that I can't get a regular job because I do not have normal references. The last place I worked at no longer exists. So just know that if you do have mental illness, even the shamans down in Brazil believe that the mental illness is actually the awakening of the spirit. Now, I'm not trying to put down anyone in the mental health field. Therapy is important. Without therapy, our conscious mind would not understand our subconscious thoughts that that's what talking does for you it allows your conscious mind to understand the subconscious thought now medications on the other hand there are many medications that are good for you well okay they do you good but in holistic and naturopath medicine you're living a preventative lifestyle so you don't have to worry about dealing with these symptoms because you are preventing the illness that makes more sense to me and so because of how i felt because of the way the session 20 minutes that's all i was given because of the way the session went i walked away like the piece of paper advertising that I had up was not, wasn't correct. I'm not into chakra balancing. I'm not into crystal healing. I, I'm, I resonate with the term medical trauma empath. Because I can see the medical issues. I can feel them. I can hear the trauma almost as if I'm experiencing it with the person that I am feeling it from. And yes, that might scare some. But I know there'll be some souls out there that are like, oh, validation, understanding. Yay, let alone, let alone a knowledgeable path of how to get to the other side. I'm well-versed in... Bach remedies, flower essences, plant therapies, crystal healing, all kinds of different ways to prove yourself, to heal yourself. And I'm not going to coach you. I'm not going to prod you. I'm not going to constantly run you. Well, did you do your homework? It'll be evident. <laughs> It'll be evident. Every time I see you, you'll be different. You'll be better if you're doing what you know you need to do. And so I'm going back next month and I'm going to go with the thought of, okay, I need to heal these people here first and then other people can come. And I'm going to not be so scared when it happens. Just know that it's meant to happen. I'm here on this planet to help others. That has been a feeling I've had since I was a child. We'll see how it goes, right? <laughs> but yeah. So join me, Utah Pagan Market, Sandy, Utah, Athena's Beans and Coffee or something like that. You can see me on the Facebook. 
You can see me here, of course, YouTube, um, on Instagram, website, all different places. If you resonate with me, even if you just want to be my friend on Facebook, come find me. It's all about tribe. And hopefully I can say the right things. Spirit will guide me. The universe will say what needs to be said and things can things can go better for these amazing people that are trying to share their knowledge. Any hustle, you're not alone. Stay blessed. And remember, you can heal yourself. You just need the right tools. Till next time.